Okay, welcome all you Flight Simulator X flyers. I am going to teach you how to download airplanes onto your Flight Simulator X game. Okay, first what you want to do is click on Internet and go to Internet or Firefox, whatever you have, and then go to simviation.com. There's lots of other sources that you can use to download airplanes, but I use Simviation. I'm a big guy on the forums. I love it there. If you want to join, it's right here, forms. And uh, we're going to go to downloads, though, on this side, on the left-hand side sort of menu. You can also go to search if you know what you're searching for. But always put flights and max, then your airplane. Okay, so now um, we're going to go to military, newest files. And we are going to download a McDonnell Douglas A4C Skyhawk right here. Last one, it's got about 2,000 downloads right now. So you click download file. All this comes up right here, the Skyhawk, this, this. Don't click Open. Make sure you click Save. Now you click Save, and you could rename it. I'm going to rename it to Skyhawk. Okay, now right here, um, check and make sure I run Vista, but I'm um, teaching on both XP. If you're on XP, look where it's going to download what folder, just, r just to remind you. And you want to click save and wait for this to load. Okay, now we're done downloading our airplane, and uh, the thing will pop up and say open, open folder, or close. I just click close to show you. Um, you're going to want to go to the start menu here. And mine was down, if you checked when I told you to uh, download it and change the name. Mine was in Tyler, and then downloads. Mine's in alphabetical order, order here, but I remembered what I named it. It was a Skyhawk 1, if I can just find it here, ah, Skyhawk, right here, here it is, you open it, now you're going to have all these files, uh, you probably don't know what they are, you have your texture right here, um, you have your sound, your panel, your model, and effects, okay, so, now what you're going to need to do is go back right here, make sure it's highlighted, and then uh, for XP you'll right click or somewhere up on the file you find extract all files and on uh, Vista you right click you click extract mine's a WinRAR system so it's kinda different but you, all you need to do is just extract I'm going to extract to desktop all of you need to do that and when you extract it extract it to the desktop and uh, once you're done with that you should see all this junk right here okay now that's because when we ex extracted it, when I clicked on it on the Skyhawk, you didn't see a folder and then more folders. You just saw all the folders, which is a problem. Not really a problem, but it just happens on different ones. Uh, they don't come with two folders. You want it to have two folders, like a folder that holds all this. So when you extract it, it's just one folder. So just go to your documents, say new folder, rename it to Skyhawk. All right and drag it over put all this into except for the effects okay now that effects folder that doesn't go with the airplane right here effects no that's not go with the airplane okay so make sure that you put all the right stuff in there none of the wrong stuff you don't want to go ballistic if your internet icons in there and you're freaking out okay so now we have that in there and we have our effects right over here I'll put those next to each other you're gonna go to your start menu so with all, all computers, go to computer or on a, a XP. It's on your desktop. Um, you'll go to program. Uh, no, you'll go to local disk, then program files. Uh, find Microsoft games. It's all in alphabetical order. Microsoft Flight Simulator X. Come up to all this. This is what came with your download. Why it took uh, who knows two hours, thirty minutes. You know, long download. And uh, and then you'll click on sim objects right here and you'll come up to airplanes, rotorcraft, all this that's for downloading different, we're gonna download airplanes though as you can tell so you click on it, you come up, here's all mine and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this whole Skyhawk just right in just drag it, mine's already been placed in there but you'll click you just drag it in and then it'll load then you will once you do that, that should all be in there, ready to go. Now let's click back. Okay, now go back to this menu right here. 
Now, these effects, you're going to find the effects folder, not sim objects. Now, you think you're just going to drag this in here? Well, no, that's not what you're going to do. Um, what you're going to want to do is open this folder, uh, just copy, you know, drag, whatever you want to do. I like dragging better. I think it's faster, easier. So we're just going to drag them into there. And I already have these ones in here. So I'm um, just showing you I dragged them in there, and then it'll load in there type of thing. And uh, you should, you might have these folders after you've already saved it, so you could just throw those in the recycle bin. And you're done with all the file work right here. Now you're going to open your flight simulator. Okay, now when yours opens, um, it should be at the top, but uh, ours is McDonnell Douglas AC A4C Skyhawk, and uh, here it is. I found it. Now I found a easier way um, for all you new people. When you start clicking on the airplanes, new ones that you download, it'll take some while for it to get to the little spinning motion. And then you're going to have to go to change. And if you have a lot of airplanes, it'll take a lot of time. So what you can do is click details. I don't know if some of you guys already do this. And right there, it's already there. So we could see um, this is actually a really nice download. Um, you could check under it, you know, see. with my controller. So put the gear up just to let all you guys know for any new guys. Now uh, right click for cockpit. Here's our cockpit. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not going to come with the virtual cockpit and it does wow we are all lucky not a good virtual cockpit but you know what a virtual cockpit is a virtual cockpit you always want to remember that because you may get frustrated with airplanes that don't come with them because not a lot do because they could take a long time here's our panel um... you know i'm not going to explain too much on this you should all know about panels altimeter there i am you know you could do whatever you want um... find you have to find all your buttons on especially these jets like this and uh, now you've downloaded your first airplane uh, or maybe you know you've been doing this for a long time just checking out the video but uh, here's my guy with looks like he doesn't even have anything covering his head and uh, oh he does now I'm gonna die and uh, thanks for watching my YouTube video and uh, if you want any other tutorials just subscribe to my videos and then message me on what tutorial you want, I could do ILS, GPS, anything you name it, I will show it for you. And thanks again for watching my video. This is TCCO94. You can't touch this. You can't touch